So a Temple family is still displaced after a fire destroyed their home during the winter storm just a few weeks ago. Yeah, Ali Kandabar joins us live in studio with how one generous viewer made a huge donation to help this family. Yes, good morning. So you might remember when we reported about two weeks ago that a mother, daughter, and uncle lost everything in a fire. You can see some of those damages behind me, and they were staying in a hotel during the winter storm. While a viewer was moved by their story and reached out to me and she wanted to donate something, they especially need right now a place to stay. They donated two weeks of free hotel stays for you guys right here at the La Quinta. So. Okay, thank you. <laughs> They told me they were at a loss for words when I told them the generous anonymous donation. The viewer donated all of her Wyndham reward points to them. According to the website, that's over $2,000. The son, Victor Lemons, tells me they were burning up a lot of cash just paying for a hotel the past few weeks. He says this takes some of the pressure off after losing the house he grew up in. It still brings Ida Braxton, you can see on your screen, to tears when she thinks of it. But when we showed her her hotel room they would be staying in, it brought her so much joy to spend the next few weeks there without worrying about the cost. That's a blessing, honey. Yes, and I'm happy. Yes, very happy. Whoever is from, I thank God for them. I really do. We really appreciate it. I know the lady says she want to be anonymous. But we're going to give you a virtual hug saying thank you. Just like that. Yes, just like yes. that. That's our virtual hug. Yes. Thank you so much. And I hope that viewer is watching right now just feeling that virtual hug. They were really appreciative. While this is a burden off their shoulders, they still have a long road ahead as they wait for insurance to come in. They do have a GoFundMe set up for monetary donations, which you can find on our website after the morning show. Reporting in studio, Ali Kadlabar, KWTX News 10.